most if you if you can try and be optimistic, most of the news that's coming out of everywhere else is fucking miserable, isn't it? Yeah, it really is. And it's it's one of them. I mean, it's it's fucking scary, really, when you think about it, and especially when you do start hibernating. You know, when you started hibernating at first, when people were like don't go out, you didn't give a fuck about walking to the shop and back. You're like, yeah, I'm cool. But now, yeah. when you see people your age start dying, you're like, um, this might be legit. <laughs> I don't yeah. think I want to cry anymore. I'm, I'm, I'm almost hermited to the point where I'm staying in. And I'm like, I'm quite cool with this. Don't want to yeah. go out. I'm all, I'm all good. I, I, I think I've left the house once in a, in a week. I've really? left it. I leave it once a day to take the dogs. Yeah. And I've, that's... I've just been indoors. <laughs> I've, just, I've been sat in the garden when the sun's out. Got the gym here. Got enough Lego to sink a battleship. I'm good, man. Stacks of bars in the cupboard for me to slowly work my way through. Ooh, what's this? Amazon. Amazon. This is the problem where you can order stuff. Amazon you delivery. Don't, don't click the link. There's a lot of bad emails going about of people getting defrauded out of a shitload of money because everyone's everyone's emailing Amazon or ordering off Amazon at the minute. And basically, there's been a lot of emails that have gone through which basically say, Hi, uh, on your recent order, just to let you know, there's a problem with, and it's a blue link, which you would normally just press to see which order, because you might have ordered half a dozen things. You press it, and it just immediately, yeah, no, be careful. Okay. So that's public warning. So not so Seth Rogeny contish now, is it? <laughs> is, just picking up on that, I need to I need to mention one thing real quick because after we spoke last time, we spoke about John Jones, and about him being a maniac <laughs> and about the whole the initial thing was that john jones's twitter handle is john bones jones and i made a reference to the other guy who is john jones who is not a fighter in any way and yep. he put out a tweet saying that he was driving along with an ar-15 on his lap as like a as like a bit of just a fucking just as a joke or whatever he was doing it for we had so many comments of people saying, it wasn't an AR-15, it was a pistol, fucking British. Just because they haven't got guns, they don't know what fucking guns are. I'm like, honestly, I genuinely know the difference between a pistol and an AR-15. <laughs> I also know when someone's made a tweet which isn't from the real account. And I was also not, I was not trying to make out that I knew everything about the situation. I was just trying to say, this guy wrote this funny tweet about having an AR-15 on his lap and dropping himself in it, which clearly it wasn't an AR-15. There's been footage since and blah, 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 and all this other shit. Plus, yes, drink driving is extremely, extremely bad. But I genuinely think the whole thing comes down to, I just don't want it to be real. That's, how, that's all it comes down to between me and John Jones, because unfortunately... He is the best in the world at his weight class. And if you take him away, all it ever does is leave the question of what if. If he got fired by the UFC, Bellator would pick him up within seconds. But that yeah. doesn't count anymore. That just that, So I'm just hoping it's not true. And that's why I almost justify the stupid shit that he does. Now, in hindsight, looking at it, I shouldn't have to justify anything he does because... Drink driving is super dangerous. I mean, my dad lost his uncle. Oh, no, my dad lost his brother. So my uncle, auntie, and two kids in a road traffic accident, no. which is horrendous. And that was my, uh, a third of my dad's side of the family. So that's that's terrible. So when people are going, this has happened, that's happened with drink driving, don't think for a minute that I'm not taking it seriously because that's my family that I don't see anymore. I didn't get to interact with because of some prick who made a bad decision. So when we're talking about it, I'm not in any way justifying that he's making shit decisions. I'm just genuinely, selfishly thinking in my brain, I wish it wasn't true because I still need to see him fight and get beaten or win. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. And I think when do, I was using... Do, do people take shit way too seriously? That's like, it. Like, it, when, when we post a photo, like I've, you know my, my house is like, I've got antique guns around the place. Like, when we post, post photos of, like, me and Terry and the boys or whatever, and we're standing with guns... The amount of people are like, oh, take your finger off the trigger. You know, it's like so dangerous. It's like this gun's not been fired for like 300 years. Yeah. Like, calm the fuck down. Like it's, it's like people, people take shit way too seriously. Swing tag on the floor. Yeah. Oh, you know, when your dog yeah. gets bored. Look. Swing tag casualty. 
Now, for whatever person's going to get pissed off and worried that the dog's going to chew a pin and swallow it, don't, because I'm going to take it off him. That was just that was just to show you that I wasn't feeding him swing tags. He has gone... To, no! I've got a bowl for swing tags. For him, now he's got a taste for him, and you're storing him in his dog bowl, so I understand the confusion. What's oh, this? Fine. What's this, my dude? Who's <laughs> that? There's Uncle Dan. Oh, this is Henzo. Aren't you? You Henzo. He's such a good boy. So yeah, people do take they do take shit too serious. But the thing is, I think what I love I love the YouTube comments. I love it because people they're so angry. They're oh. so angry. And so like you've either got people who are dead sound, like most people I've interacted with through the collective one way or another. Because most people who have a question, have a query, have a concern about anything to do with their parcel or anything we've made. They normally come through to me and I will often sign off an email as myself because it's just natural habit. I'll just be like, yeah, no worries. Let me know. Owen, gone. And <clears throat> I'm not a famous name. I'm not a person that anyone needs to have any admiration for because I'm just part of a company. But you get to you get to know people, you get to talk to people. So before you know it, they've found you on Instagram or they've found you on Twitter or on Facebook and you've started this relationship with people. And it's one of them where. Like, there's, there's certain people like, um, oh, what's his name? What's his name? Always has the coffee. Dead sound guy. I spoke to him a bunch of times. His name is, and I'm going to get it before I find it on here. His name is, hold on a minute, Rob. Rob Clark. So people like Rob, Craig Smith. There's a load of people that will ask me certain questions directly. And they will often comment on YouTube. And they're like, D just like your mates talking to you. It's dead normal. And there's other people who are fucking raging and they're just so fucked off that I get this opportunity to talk to you. And I kind of love it because they're the, they're the, the messages in YouTube that I will like. Yeah. If you're going to write something cuntish, just try really hard because there's going to be winners and losers. And I will normally put this wins. If someone if someone has, has gone real deep and tried to cut as hard as they can, they get a, this wins, but they never reply. Dude, the, the amount of shit that I got when I was fighting Marcus Davis and that that there was that rivalry between us and I was I was shit talking him and getting inside his head. Like I, I have an email account and I need to get the I need to recover the password because I've got a folder of like shit talk, like trash talking, death threats, all kinds of stuff in there. And there was so much good stuff. That it's, I mean, it's like it's literally material for a stand up show. I could, I could literally just stand on stage and just read these emails like verbatim. They were ridiculous. Some of the stuff that people would say, like really creative stuff. Like, like, if I sent this to a doctor as a psychiatric evaluation, they'd come around and put you in a fucking straitjacket. That kind of stuff. Mm. Like, I, the, the, like, it's like people just, they've got so much rage. And because of social media and the opportunity to, leave a comment that shit just comes spewing out of people I, do kind of, I, I am kind of addicted to comments because <laughs> it's, yeah, because it's kind of funny because i've even mentioned this before the amount of times that we all have a conversation and nine times out of ten before we record me and you have caught up for an hour or two or like currently during the apocalypse we we catch up on phones or make, like today we've had a meeting about what we're doing and i've been sat doing swing tags while you lot have been talking so there's a number of times where someone will comment something. And I'll be like, fuck, I didn't realize I said that on the recording. I thought I'd said that privately. So <laughs> I sort of, I just yeah, forget. I think people realize now you've got no filter though. No, because there's no point. What's the point? Like if I feel something or if I'm going to say something, it's not to official, it's not to outwardly hurt someone. It's just my opinion. And they're the same as arseholes. Everyone's got one. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Some are full of shit, some aren't. And it's just, that's all it is. So what I like to do, I do like to see what people are thinking and saying. I mean, we, we get a lot from the comments because we know what we need to talk about next or what people are interested in. Like there's been some, some of our collection and some of the stuff we've made because people have asked. Mm. And that means something to that person. I mean, the yeah. person calls you a shithead. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter, but who cares? Constructive. 